Hello and welcome to Tirana, the capital city of Albania. Now over there is Skanderbeg Square, which is the, well, which was the main meeting point in the city. And uh, there's the statue of uh, George Skanderbeg. Um, and that's what the, the square is named after. So George Skanderbeg was uh, an Albanian feudal lord and military commander who uh, led uh, a, re a rebellion against the Ottomans. Now, the Ottoman Empire swallowed up Albania into its uh, empire from th the late 1300s to 1912. The country was then officially born and was ruled over by the flamboyant Kings of the First. And then, in 1944, the paranoid communist leader Enver Hodja took over and ruled the Albanian people with a Stalinist iron fist for 40 years. This period was a very dark time for the Albanian people and they suffered greatly from their dictator. Today, the country is democratic with a parliamentary system, a far cry from the days under Enver Hodja. So I'm literally stood in the centre of Skanderbeg Square right now. I can just imagine this in the old communist days of Ed Enver Hodja. There's some uh, police officers there. There's the Opera House of House of, um, of Culture. And as you can see, there's loads of building work going on in Tirana at the moment. Modernising the city. Uh, this is what I believe to be the old fascist style communist era style of building the architecture old guard point and there's some fellows keeping the streets of Tirana nice and clean good work <laughs> Hello. Hello. Friendly people there doing community service. One of the oldest buildings in Tirana. Definitely old, the oldest mosque. I thought I would just take you on a normal day out into the city, take a look at some of the sites, grab a bit of food, um, get something to drink, something like that. Uh, and I'll probably finish the vlog over in Mother Teresa Square because I've never actually been there before. So uh, it's a bit of a chilly day today. But for me, it's a nice temperature. Just gotta watch my back because uh, there's loads of people on bikes and these like e scooter things. There's the National Bank of Albania. And right in the centre of the square, there's this very cool carousel. Loads of um, building works going on here in Tirana at the moment and like things being done. But I'm actually going to head out to a fast food place just over the road. Oh, 
all good? I show my friends your place. Okay. <laughs> Can I order the same as yesterday? Yes. What I bought? Okay. Big. One. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Here. Yeah, eat in, yeah. Alright, sir. Yeah. Try the elbow. I'll try one of these as well. Thank you. Thank you. Everything? Yeah, e yeah everything. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I don't actually know what it's called, but um, it's like crispy chicken on it. This dish has got everything you need, got your meat. Your veg, obviously chips, potato, and bread. Put your carbs and your meat, probably. You're done with the beer. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. This is an old pub. Hello. Can I have one beer, please? One beer. How much for a can? More money. Same. Same. Can I have a can? Is that okay? Thank you. Sit out here. Thank you very much. Right, I'm going to enjoy this beer. So this one is the um, Caron Lager beer. from the fast food joint just back there and just had a beer as well just fancied one before I actually head into the house of leaves which is over here or the house of surveillance which it is known also The House of Leaves, a former government building used as a tool to monitor and survey the Albanian population, is now dedicated to all those who lost their lives or suffered under Enver Hodges' communist regime. I decided not to film inside the museum out of respect and the fact that you are not allowed to film inside. At the time of filming, the museum only granted entry to those wearing a face mask. In this tunnel, guys, it goes under the city. Can't see anything there. Too dark. I've just been under there and it's scary. I have no idea what this is. <coughs> That's cool, little light water fountain. That's the thing with um, Tirana, is there's so many different things to see. Um, and I'm actually going to be heading, I'm going to follow this river down actually. I'm going to follow it down to the mother 
Teresa Square, which is just ahead, I think. I've just been here for about three days now, and um, I'd recommend you come in just to see it for a few days, even a weekend away. Hello. Keep going. It's longer than you think, actually, to get to the uh, Mother Teresa Square. I don't have a clue what that building is. Security guy looking at us. Hello. So, this is the famous Mother Teresa Square, and I got told off by a security guard for filming that last building. Um, it was actually I got the president's house. So, uh, the guy was okay, he said, no, no problem. Yeah, the security guard said, um, no filming, but no problem. So, at least they're quite, um, Understandable. Look at this old communist sort of relic of the past. I would not sit on one of these seats, I wouldn't be able to fit in it. Obviously, back in the old communist days, there would be acts on this stage another interesting little find you keep finding these little things in uh, in Tirana Mother Teresa Square and over there is the new uh, Albania Stadium. Oh, this is the university. Polytechnic. So if you want to study for a, a degree at the Tirana uh, University Polytechnic, this is where you would go. Quite a big police presence actually around Mother Teresa Square. Wow. Is this student accommodation here in Albania? Uh, Albania Stadium. And you've got this funny like modern art thing in the center
I mean, it sort of fits in with Albania really is the fact that there's so much modern stuff now cropping up all over the city in Tirana should I say and then there's the old relics of the old communist days like that over there and there's like this old I don't know if it's like a bus stand or something like that wherever that goes to This is another one of the old relics of the old days of the communist era. Like oh, iron, that was a lift there. Go down the steps somewhere. Must be student accommodation. This can't think of anything else it would be. Okay, so I'm actually stood right in the centre of uh, Mother Teresa Square or Saint Mother Teresa because she's now a saint. Hope you've enjoyed that little vlog around Tirana, Albania, Got all the fancy pants on the floor. That's just a normal day in Tirana that I've been having recently. Look around. Uh, something to eat, something to drink. Take a little look at the, uh, the, the university, Polytechnic. And uh, almost get arrested by some security guard for taking uh, a video of the president's house. So, thanks for watching this video guys. And I'll see you in the next one. There's another end of a Hodger bunker Q type. Entrance would have been there. These bunkers are just everywhere in Albania and they are everywhere in Tirana as well. I'm sure I'll see more on my travels. That's filthy, that water. Absolutely filthy. Another relic of the old communist era. People sat on here looking over communist Tirana, watching the world go by.